welcome back my horde um so because no one uh, only one person actually uh said anything it was actually during one of my uh streams <clears throat> which we will get to in a second i think what we'll do is just um look online for the creepiest pokemon and then go from there sounds good so the first one that uh the friend brought up uh, during a stream was actually uh cubo how, according to like the lore of Cubone, <clears throat> upon its birth, it uh, takes its mother's skull and puts it on. And then my brain was when that was told to me when I was you know paying attention to it is the fact that that doesn't make a lot of sense if you think about it, because it would make one Cubone would be able to put on one mother's skull. Yeah. So. No litters of cue bones, no... Like, it's a one-for-one one trade-off. Yeah, which wouldn't work. One-for-one one actually does make a population go kaput. Now, if it was, like, ancestors, or if, like, cue bones maybe, like, upon being born, they're born in two, and then the Marowak's head and the... So, the, you know, the old mother, which would be the grandmother at this point, plus the mother's head was given to the two... Maybe then that makes a little bit more sense, but yeah, yeah. I think honestly, it was just it's a ancestral thing. They, you know, take you take on the, you know, skull of one of your ancestors to honor them, not exactly your mother. But that's my opinion about that. That's kind of how we're going to go with a lot of these. Okay, so the next one. So is the one, have, the one the one from the sites? We have Glali, Glali. Lately, I don't know. Which is from the Sapphire Games. It says that this Pokemon has the ability to freely control ice. For example, it can instantly freeze its foes solid. After immobilizing its foes in ice, it uh, this Pokemon enjoys eating it at a in leisure leisurely fashion. Keep scrolling down because there's more. Okay, let's put an ad in between. Uh. You wake to a crunching sound. Your body is cold. Your limbs are numbered, or numbed, numbered, eh, and unable to move. Encased by a prison of solid ice, only your eye muscles can respond to your brain. But it feels, but you feel everything. Crunch, crunch. Uh, what is that noise? It sounds like bones and meat being processed by a rusty machine. You glance down, uh, staring back at you as a glaily. Uh, looking you dead in the eyes with indifference. That sound you were hearing is this large-toothed ice Pokemon slowly nibbling away at the blood-red ice shavings that occupies this, occupy the space where your armies used to be. Okay, besides so Tammy not being great at reading. I'm worse. Tammy can read, but she can't read out loud. And I'm worse, so... But, uh, no, the problem I have with that one is, first off, I don't know if that any of this is, like, just, like, the person's personal, like, twist on it, or what, because I don't know this Pokemon at all. But, um, that doesn't make a lot of sense when it's like, oh, you can feel everything. But, you know, you don't f realize it's eating your arm until you start looking at it again. It's like, what? Yeah. But, even with that all being said, uh, fucking... To freeze a person solid like that would be you'd be dead yeah you wouldn't be able to see anything yeah and the fact that after you come back the only thing that you can see is your eye like for your eyes what yeah yeah no that just seems like either someone's trying to like make a creepy ass pokemon or well, you don't have to move forward I to move, I'm, I'm playing with the, the, the chair wheels <coughs> either they're just trying to make a creepy ass pokemon that can freeze things or yeah. It doesn't make much sense with that. But okay. Are we moving on? Yep. To... So the next one is Shuckle. Which is a ruby and sapphire. Uh, Shuckle quietly hides itself under rocks, keeping its body concealed inside the hard shell while eating berries as it has stored away. The berry mix is or with its body fluids to become a juice. Okay. <laughs> Besides its barnacle 
spotted uh, carapace. Oh my god, what what are these with these words? Shuckle seems inconspicuous enough, but uh, like the man who decided to drink whatever came out of the cow's udder, who the hell decided it was a good idea to imbibe the viscous, gooey excretions found in a shuckle's shell? Uh, we shudder to imagine the taste tart fermented berries mixed with greasy red-orange body fluids that reek of mold, sweat, and oil. A sip of that juice will make you barf quicker than the syrup of Ipecac? Sure. So far this site, I don't think this one's not the, quite what we wanted, but yeah, this one's kind of like... Okay, so yeah, it's berries. Now, like the body really fluid stuff, I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know if that's like something that's like in somewhere or whatever. It's like, and it drinks it with his bodily fluids. But like, yeah, like the fact that it's like, um, when you smash down berries, it becomes a juice. Yeah. So the fact that like it has to add its bodily fluids to working around but juice is just weird that they would word it that way. But okay. We're, you're going to get away from that. Oh, you're going to go to a different one? I wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either, Tams. Okay. Well, we'll do this one. It's uh, lamp, uh, Lampent, which is from Black 2 and White 2. Uh, this, the spirit, it absorbs, fuels the baleful fire. It hangs around hospitals waiting for people to pass on. Okay, that makes sense. When you die, does your soul ascend to heaven? No, it serves as nothing more than mid-afternoon snack for this living light fixture. Imagine lying on your deathbed, looking with dread and hatred at the lone lampant gently hovering outside of your window. There is no great beyond. There is no only the nothingness that comes after your spirit burns the lampant's le- flame like dry leaves in the furnace. Okay. Well, first off, <clears throat> going with this whole thing, I don't know where it says in, like, you know, the Pokemon entry of how often it has to do this. But could you imagine if the concept is that, yeah, your soul actually does become a Pokemon? You have, like, this little lamp thing that sits there unattended, and it, when you die, it puts it yourself and you become a Pokemon. Well, in this case, it's saying that you fuel it. You yeah. are feeding it. But who says that afterwards you don't ascend still? I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. But it's like, it's nowhere near like the concept of the other ones that I've heard of for Gen once. So like, these are all just like, mass to me. Yeah. Except for the first one, which just doesn't make sense. If you want to move on, you can move on. Let's take a peek. Okay, Drowsy. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. So Drowsy, obviously Gen 1. Uh, Drowsy has always been a rather troubling Pokemon, but the evolution of its Pokedex entries has made it more so over the decades. In the original games, it was said that, quote, put enemies to sleep, then eat their dreams. Okay. But its list of victims has seamlessly expanded since then. In Ultra Sun, uh, its Pokedex entry states that uh, it hangs out near recreational facilities with a view to eating the dreams of children while Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire reveal that the uh, the Pokemon extracts these dreams through the victim's nostrils. Gross. It's dreams. Yeah. Like, that's not really that bad. It's just not like it's hurting you. Yeah, it's not like, you know, it's Freddy Krueger or anything. Yeah. <clears throat> no, you know what? I, I think that... Uh, just go straight to number one. Go straight to number one for these. Getting there. There we go. And then I think we'll just end this, or we'll just go on to talk about something else. For fuck's sakes. Drift. Actually, you, you know what? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck with this guy. I, I just, just get rid of it all. I had like five or six tags open. 
But it's just the fact that, like, fuck it. It's... There are... <sighs> no, to give her the mom said... She, like, half closed... Like, ha closed half of them. She's like, well, we'll just do it the last half. I'm like, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. I don't give a fuck about them anymore. They were kind of just, like, blah. Um, me and Tammy watched Demon Slayers recently. And then we also watched, um... Ragnarok. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ragnarok yeah. Season 2. On Netflix. That's a live-action uh, Norwegian um, produced Netflix series. Definitely would recommend it as long as you're okay with... Um, Subbed. Voices not meaning up. Yeah. English dubbed. Oh, dubbed, right. Not subbed. And then dubbed. we usually would watch it with subtitles just because there are times where they're yelling. I'm also or deaf. talking. And... They have, uh, they didn't obviously, um, make the names more English sounding. So like the name, the main character's name is, uh, Magna. So <laughs> they're, it's definitely good though. Yeah. No, I enjoyed it. And we watch all the Demon Slayers up to the movie. So that's pretty cool too. Um, Yeah. Not really much else to really say, sadly. I don't really want to have a limited minute podcast again. Uh, uh, not a lot's been happening, sadly. You know, like, that, at least we, it's not like we're just like, anything we're like, oh, we don't want to talk about it. Just like, fucking, you know, we played video games. Watch my stream. Like, what else am I supposed to say there? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, everything else is like, there's nothing else to add to that. Like, oh. I'm not trying to complain. I'm not trying to, like, you know, get grumpy about anything. Though I think we're going to be playing Borderlands again this week. Sounds good. Because I really enjoyed that. There was actually a game I wanted to play um, with the group of you, but I'm not sure if I want to jump away from Drake Hollow again to play it or if I want to wait. So, we'll see. Yeah. We had uh, the we had the one exciting appointment of the chiropractor. Yes. Yeah, which that wandering rib and you are just gonna have to duke it out. It's gonna win. <laughs> just like the rest of my back. Like, you know, like every single time I go there, I come back and everything's good for like you know everything hurts a little bit, and then next day it's like all kind of goodish. And then it just slowly starts to accumulate again. Yeah. Like, if I would have known that chiropractors were going to be a thing I wanted to go to, majority of my fucking life, I would have gone to it a lot sooner. Then again, I probably would have also got health insurance a lot sooner, not knowing I didn't have it. Thought I had it for, like, the longest point in time. I'm like, oh, well, you know, I'm okay, though. I don't need to go to the doctor. Go to the fucking doctor when I need to once for my fucking hearing. And there was, like, a fucking bill there. I'm like, cute. Yeah, well, it's all good now. No, well, at least it's not as expensive as Nico's fucking bill. That's going to be expensive, little kitten. She's got, uh, we haven't even got surgery for her yet. Her surgery's coming up on Thursday, so the day after you guys watch this. But it's going to be like $1,300 or some bullshit like that. Yeah, minimum. So, oh, it's going to be expensive. But oh. then she gets fixed and she's all healthy hopefully so psa for those who own female cats if you're or male cats just get them fixed yeah. get, your, get your cat fixed just get them fixed if you don't plan on not letting them have kittens because we were expecting t nico to have kittens that's why we didn't get her fixed and then as time progressed it was like i guess maybe we won't do it and then all of a sudden now it's like yeah she may actually be having problems due to it so yeah well she is like 11 or 12 so she's old She's a very, very beautiful kitten. Very healthy old cat. The vet was very surprised. She's like, your cat is like ridiculously healthy. Peak, you know, peak health. I'm like. It's because she's a barn cat. That's what I'm going to say. I'm like, yeah, like 
it's not that we overfeed her and it's not like we starve her. She yeah, we herself. have we have a uh cuz of the how that we tried raising our cats. Um we only had problems with the one cat. But uh out of the four cats we've owned me and Tammy, we have a feeder. Uh we only have three now, but in the lifetime that we've had cats. We have a feeder that just basically has all their food in it and just drops down. So, like, whenever they're hungry, they can just go eat. And the only cat we've ever had a problem with was Static. And that's only if the dish actually got empty. If the dish got empty, she actually would gorge the next time that there was food. Yeah. Just because when she was, uh, before we owned her, the people that owned her before us, they would, um... They had an elder cat. That's why they're getting rid of her. And the elder cat would actually like knock her away and eat both foods. So, yeah. Um, but with the other cats that we have, like they'll go and eat the tiny bit that they want and then walk away. Yeah. And then if the if it gets empty, they don't gorge themselves. Instead, they find us and scream at us. Yeah. Like, hey. I haven't, I haven't actually let it get empty, empty. I've let it get to the concept that there was nothing in the reservoir and it was just all at the bottom, like a yeah. even line. But yeah, still, even with that, Static would have freaked the fuck out. But they yeah. just, they don't even realize that there's a problem yet. So yeah. And because they have infinite water, I say infinite water because it's a freaking large jug of water in the tub. But it has to be in the tub because Nico's partially water blind she can't see depth of water so she needs the water to move and when she goes to move the water uh sometimes she will knock out some of the water so it has to be in the tub it so. doesn't matter if it's suction cup to the floor doesn't matter if it's we've tried those kinds of things and she still tips it over so or she knocks it into something and it spills and splashes yeah but... it's mostly the spills and splashes that get uh, with the new ones, but I might as well just leave it in there and everything's fine. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm enjoying our countertop dishwasher. Yeah. So nice. I, I found out to, don't run it right when you're cooking dinner. <laughs> Especially if you need water. <laughs> Fucking, I was cooking some steak up. So, I was cooking potatoes and steak up. And how I cook my potatoes is I'll put them in a frying pan. And I'll keep adding a little bit of water every time there's no water in there. So that the steam will actually help cook the potatoes, but, and they won't get dry or whatever. Yeah. And it's a healthy I had alternative to, keep, to oil. Yeah. I had to keep running to the fucking bathroom to go grab water from the bathroom. <laughs> so that, and then when I was cutting up the steak, I'm like cutting up the tenderizing and doing all that stuff in the steak. And then my hands are bloody. I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom to wash my fucking hands. <laughs> Yes, now you understand my problems, because I did that, too, yeah. when I cooked dinner today, except I made sure that I did everything and used as much water as I needed, and then I ran it. But yeah, so, yeah, that's that. But slowly chipping away at downsizing stuff and organizing, and I got some other stuff put away today, so, yay. And then I got a 12-pack of Kool-Aid today. Yes. Got delivered three days early. Yeah. It was supposed to come in on Wednesday. Today. So the, yeah. It came in on yeah. Sunday when we're recording this. <laughs> I'm just going to say today. Yeah, I, I get uh, the, ras uh, the blue raspberry lemonade. Yeah. And so when I get it... Um, it's hard to get it in town. Like, nowhere, nowhere really sells it. I've, I found that personally, like, Kool-Aid's kind of just, like, been phased out. Yeah, like Kool-Aid crystals. Yeah. Now, it's if if they do have Kool-Aid, it's the pre-mixed, like, or the squeegee concentrated ones. squeegee. Yeah. And those are just, A, not the same, and B, they kind of doesn't really help when you're trying to figure out how much to add and stuff. And Yeah, and so, nonetheless, so I was looking, I was just like, screw it. I don't really like shopping online, but let's just shop online. So I looked, I'm like, holy crap, there's a 12-pack for, like, 50 bucks. It's a pretty freaking good deal. 
because it's like less than I think it was like four eighty or something like that for one at Walmart on their website. But this way it was like four twenty or something like that. Yeah. Per container. So Yeah, totally went down that route. But yeah. I think we've decided that we're going to try growing our plants next year. Yeah. Either the problem was is that they were growing and then I forgot to water them one evening and then I went in the next morning and they're like good portion of them were like, We're dead. Yeah. I'm like, Cool, there's two of you that are still alive. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try and take care of you guys. So I, you know, looking after them and then I forgot to water them for like two days. Because I just totally forgot and then like pretty much everything died except for like I think either tomato plants or like the lettuce yeah. from the seeds that I was trying to do. And they're still kind of there so I just have to continue to remember to try and spray them. Yeah, but, so what I'm just going to do is we'll clean up that room, reorganize it, and then try again next year. Yeah. The reason we have them in the room is... Uh, one part so the cats leave them alone, and the other parts because we can actually keep the temperature a bit better than the rest of the house. That and that room is facing the afternoon sun. Yeah. So they at least get natural sunlight. Well, the only other place would be the uh, living room to store them. But yeah, the concept is that our house is just not usually a good temperature for things. No. I like living in an ice box. Yeah, I wish it was an ice box right now. Stupid being warm. Yeah, yeah, don't touch me with your warm body. I was going to say, my arm felt pretty cold compared to my hand. God, did you feel my arm? My arms are much colder. Butthead. Oh, yeah, you don't got to comment to that, huh? Uh, oh, that was my finger. Anyway, now that we're done being silly. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't know if there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else. Is there anything else? No, we didn't do anything interesting or crazy this last weekend. So. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, frick. I'm tired. I don't want to be tired. Yeah. I did not sleep good last night, though. I was going to say, ever since you're... Or shots. You've... No, I, it, now I'm not sleeping great again. I need to go get another one. I was going to say, you mentioned something about it yesterday, so now it's... Yeah, I need to get another one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when that's going to be a thing. Uh, I'll have to keep an eye out on my emails. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to disappear. So, Ninja Vanish.